How's it going guys? It's Jacob here at Inertion's private headquarters. We got uh, this awesome Inertion banner that uh, Jason has up on the wall here. I quite like it. I wish I had one of these in my garage. Maybe not Inertion, maybe, I don't know, something to do with myself. But um, we got Jason over there working hard, Yo. doing all those secret prototype things. <laughs> but um, we're working on some uh, few things. I actually just dropped in to grab some crap from him. But uh, yeah, he asked me to give him a hand. Um, we're assembling an awesome battery pack, Space Cell 4. This secret battery pack that uh, everyone wants their hands on, right? Yeah. It's uh, a little bit overdue, but it's worth the wait very much. Game changer. Yep. So uh, I've got my hub motors up on the bench right here. Jason loves my hub motors. He's envious of the hub motors. He's got to get his act together. But, um... Mate, they've got to prove themselves first. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this run goes. But, um, let's do a little tour from the workshop. We've got a little test rig down here. All these shelvings. Look at all that stock motors. Raptors coming off the shelves. That's ridiculous. And then we've got... Over here, obviously the workbench, we've got secret little stuff going on over here with that Space Cell 4. We've got my hub motors, which don't belong here. But um, then we've got this off-road build, which lots of you have seen. We've got his little soldering station. And tucked away in this corner, he actually makes his own battery packs too, which is pretty sweet of Jason to do. Um, not many people can that actually do that and execute it well. Got a few old prototypes up here and another little assembly bench and more Raptors coming on here. So if you've ordered a Raptor, that's where the uh, work is happening, all in-house. So nothing's assembled in China, it's all assembled in-house at Inertion, which is pretty sweet. Pre-assembled motors. Motor mounts. I have some fun when I come here. It's got a lot more crap than I do. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to do a little bit of uh, testing of the spell se Space Cell 4 and do a little bit of a um, amp test and see what they can actually handle. This is Jacob. Um, and... I've got an exclusive scoop today at the uh, Inertion headquarters. I'm doing an interview with one of the members of staff here that uh, have basically been along the road the whole time and have put a lot into development, um, just supporting the staff that uh, work at Inertion and make sure that everyone's happy. And uh, their name Hi, is... This is a tensed bench that Jason set up for running his boards off of. Um, currently I've got my hub motors on there. I've got one here which has got some damage from the dyno. Um, the Basically the drum on there has a the texture to keep 
um, your wheels um, basically tractioned on there and uh, it just lost a little bit of traction and then caused a bit of damage there but the other one's real nice still so basically there's no load on here and I'm going to help Jason set up one with load today um, and basically what we're going to do is apply throttle both sets of wheels are spinning and you can see braking on this is really progressive now it's quite smooth and I've done that so basically hub modes it's one on one so there's no gear ratio you apply brakes and bang you're gonna fly off the board so amp limits for negative braking is really low um, to give a really smooth braking force I'd say we could basically apply pressure on this by standing on it and actually give it load as well so if I was going to stand on this board like this put all my weight over it's going a bit sideways because I'm leaning on it and it popped up just run it again but standing on it is probably not the best idea <laughs> definitely not the best idea see what I just did I was running the board standing on it trying to get some load onto the wheels but what actually happened is the wheels slipped through and it's pretty pretty jammed in there which is uh awesome but uh I'm going to have to get this out. charging the battery because the voltage meter is going up. 15 amp braking. Mate, it would be sweet to see what my pump is doing. This is basically a dyno, man. Yeah. Ready? 20 amp braking. Huh. It's charging your board at 7.5 amp. So, awesome. guys, 